I walk to a door and knock twice. Who is it? Ma'am, it's your security guard. Well, I'm doing my makeup. Go away. Ma'am, we've got to get moving. You have your interview with Good Morning America. Yeah, I know which meetings I have. Great. So, shall we head off? The door opens. Chrissy stands and looks angry with her makeup half done. Listen, I don't know if you're new to this job, but I'm the star. So I don't like to be rushed. Ma'am, I get that. But we need a move. Listen, call me ma'am one more time and you and I are about to have a serious conversation. Comprende? Great. I smile. Are you seriously smiling at me? Ma'am, you're being a brat. You're fired. What did you say? You heard me. You're fired. I am a Grammy-winning country singer, and I say you're fired. So get out of my sight. Chrissy shuts the door. I knock on the door. The door opens. What are you still doing here? Ma'am, I like you. So I'll stand here talking, and you'll keep that tiny mouth of yours shut. Comprende? What gives you the right to talk to me like this? Lady, my job is to deliver you to Good Morning America safe and sound. After that's done, you're free to talk to my supervisor and have me replaced. I want you replaced now. That's not happening. Until you're delivered, I'm going nowhere, and you're getting dressed. Now scram. How dare you speak to me like this? You're starting to piss me off, and I'd like you to get dressed now. Or what? Or I put you over my shoulder, we walk out this hotel room with you in the nightgown. Your choice. Who the hell are you? Right now, I'm your worst nightmare. You have five minutes to get dressed, or I'm carrying you out, and you're becoming a meme on Twitter. So what's it to be? I'm getting my manager on the phone. Chrissy takes out her cell phone from the pocket of her nightgown. Ma'am, the phone line in your room is dead and... I swipe Chrissy's phone off her and smile. I have your cell phone. Now you're going to do as you're told, or we're not going to get along. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. So please, hurry up. Chrissy walks into her room and slams the door shut. You have five minutes! Chrissy walks towards the hotel lobby doors. I'm beside her. Chrissy ignores the paparazzi taking her pictures. You see that? That's what power brings. So you do not want to mess with me. Ma'am, I'm assigned to take care of your safety, so please don't make my job any harder than it needs to be. Though you know, I'll be filing a kidnapping report if you do anything I disagree with. You got that, jerk? Christy walks out of the lobby door. A sizable-looking man with a pot belly sees Christy and starts walking towards her. I love you, Christy. C could you sign my man boobs? The man lunges at her, but I reach him first and push him away. Then, I quickly lead Christy to her car waiting for her as the man lays on the ground. God, what's wrong with people? Respect my privacy, God. Christy gets into the car. I get in beside her. Our driver drives on. Um, hey, thanks for, um, saving me back there. It's part of my job. I stay focused on looking ahead. God, do you ever like to relax or smile? You look like a sad, pathetic clown. Ma'am... My job is to take care of you. Outside of that, I can do whatever the hell I want. You're a dick. I hope you know that. I'll take you back to the hotel room if you insult me again. You're paid to do as I demand. <sighs> Ma'am, once again, I'm paid to be your babysitter. What did you say? It was a figure of speech. Are you saying you're my babysitter? <laughs> I'm 23 years old. <laughs> yeah, well, you behave like a three-year-old you. Say that again. I dare you. Fuck. Christy kisses me. There's a moment of silence as the kiss lingers. Then, after a heartbeat, I break it off. Christy looks utterly shocked by her actions. The driver drives on. The car pulls over to a stop. I get out and walk around to let Christy out. She looks pissed. I take her hand and lead her up. She straightens up and starts walking to the entrance of the studio. I'm a step behind her. Do you want to explain why you kissed me? Let's get this straight. You and I, 
Won't happen. You were trying to pull my strings with your kisses, but lady, this man thinks with his brain, not his dick. Whatever. Look, I need us to focus on the babysitter comment. Ma'am, you need to stop talking. We walk into the building. A studio assistant sees us walking toward her. She gestures us to follow her. We do. Who hired you to be my babysitter? It's not important. Who fucking hired you? Your aunt, okay? Are you happy? Which aunt, Lisa or Becca? Does it matter? It does. So talk, right now. Fine. It was your aunt, Becca. Why did she hire you? We're not getting into that. You tell me why my aunt hired you or I go live in front of the nation and tell everyone that you molested me. What's it to be? Your choice is pretty simple. <sighs> okay, ma'am. You're insane and out of control. Your spending habits are becoming as big as Michael Jackson's. You've been partying every night for the last two weeks. You've developed an addiction to prescription medicine. You've been shutting out all your friends and family. Last week, you got photographed kicking a homeless man. You're a terrible human being. Do you need me to go on, or is that enough? Clarify? I didn't kick that homeless man. I was checking to see if he was okay with my foot. You were checking if he was fine by kicking him? Well, this story gets better. You're one hell of a woman. Wasn't trying to hurt him. Fine, I believe you. But the other stuff in your life is dead on. Some of it might be. Chrissy, what happened to you? We grew up in such a loving community. You had so much love around you. And you were a happy child. We grew up in a loving community? I'm sorry, do we know each other or have we just met? Today. Please. Take a closer look at my face, Christy. Christy takes a closer look. Uh, what am I meant to be seeing? It's me. I'm Quinn Ferguson. Yeah, your name doesn't ring any bells. You know what? We'll talk after the interview. Well, are you staying on? I thought you said you'd leave right after the interview. Well, obviously I lied. I'm your permanent bodyguard. <sighs> what the fucking fuck? <laughs> Chrissy takes off her microphone and walks towards me. How the hell do we know each other? Ma'am, you're a public figure. So, let's cool our jets and do this in private. How the hell do you know me? Like I said, I'm Quinn Ferguson. Yeah, and like I said, I don't know who that is. I was your boyfriend in high school. <laughs> Wait, you were my boyfriend in high school? No, no, <laughs> Christy laughs. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry to be cruel. You're just way too lame for me to be interested in you. Thank you. You're far too kind. No, but seriously, what would make me want you? I don't know. Maybe you like my personality, or perhaps you like my charisma. I'm a likable guy. Yet... I don't remember who you are. Well, you will the more time we spend together, so get used to it. More time we what? Like I said to you, I'm here permanently. I pay your wages, and I say you're not. Not for long, you don't. I started walking off. What the hell does that mean? Christy follows me out of the studio. Chrissy gets in the car beside me. Our driver starts the car and pulls away. Not for long. You know something? Well, I know if you're not too careful soon that someone might do a Britney on you. Who? Aunt Becca? I don't have that information, but from what I know, your family is lining up to take control of your finances. They can't do that. They can if they think you're not of sound mind, and unfortunately for you, recent events have proved that you're not. That's bullshit, and they know it. Christy, you bought a Bugatti for a friend who doesn't even have a driver's license. You're a mess. You need help. My family can go fuck themselves. 
And you are included in that statement, too. Christy, it's as simple as this. You have to control your behavior or lose control of making decisions for yourself. Is that why Becca hired you? To warn me? No. She hired me to take care of you. She hired me to look out for your best interest. Becca hired me so that I would give you a shoulder to cry on. I don't need that. I'm fine. You're in a world of pain, Christy. I don't know why that is, but I'm here to soothe that pain away. I want to be your healer. Let me help you. Christy looks downbeat. I'm okay. You're all over the place, Christy. I'm fine. You should prove it to me then. What do you mean? And how do I do that? I've been assigned to report back to Becca. She wants to know all of the crooks and crannies of what you're doing with your life. So, show me you're changing, and I'll make sure my report is positive. And if I don't comply with your rules, what will you do? I'll report saying someone needs to start making your life decisions. Someone as in someone else? Yes. Fine. Give me six weeks to prove I'm of sound mind, and then you're fired. That's fair. Don't you dare try to kiss me again. <laughs> if I recall correctly, you kissed me first. But, in your defense, I didn't stop you and I kissed back. Yeah, and I hated it. Of course you did. I fucking did, okay? What? Are you scared you won't be able to resist me if I do kiss you again? Yeah, right. I don't even like you. A beat as Chrissy looks at me. She leans in for a kiss. I kiss her back. Then I break the kiss. Do you want to rethink that? I didn't mean to kiss you. Sure you didn't. I didn't. <sighs> well, this will be a fun six weeks. I'm sure of that. <sighs> Well, I'm putting on my airpods and ignoring you for the rest of this car ride. <laughs> you won't resist me for long. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and in this delightful scene, we fade out. This was The Bodyguard. It was voiced by me, Alex Bowie, and Justine Leah Hintz. It was written, produced, and directed by Joelle Encida. We hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of The Bodyguard. Please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and be sure to subscribe to the podcast on all your favorite podcast listening apps. Also, please share the series with your friends and family. Thank you. That Love Podcast is active on Twitter at That Love Pod, and on Instagram and Facebook at That Love Podcast.